This case study focuses on the successful IT alumni from Balacan State University College of Information and Communications Technology who overcame challenges and achieved remarkable accomplishments in their careers. The study explores their career goals, current jobs, work experiences, and the obstacles they face along the way. This research provides valuable insights and advice for the current BSIP students on navigating the IT industry, highlighting the alumni's resilience, determination, and adaptability. In-depth interviews with selected alumni showcase their personal and professional backgrounds, significant achievements, and the strategies they use to overcome those challenges, such as continuous learning and networking. This study offers a glimpse into the alumni's invaluable roles and contributions to the IT industry and inspires current students to unlock their potential and reach for their dreams. The rapid development of information technology has created many job opportunities, making it a highly sought-after field globally. The IT industry in the Philippines has been growing steadily, and Bulacan State University College of Information and Communications Technology offers a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology program to prepare students for a career in this industry. The program covers essential topics such as programming, database management, networking, and systems analysis and design. Success in the IT industry requires not only technical skills, but also adaptability, communication skills, and continuous learning. This case study examines the experiences, challenges, and achievements of selected IT alumni of Bulsu CICT to provide insights and valuable advice for current BSIT students and showcase their program's potential for a career in IT. This research aims to identify the challenges faced by Bulacan State University College of Information and Communication Technology graduates when transitioning to the IT industry. It also seeks to explore the strategies employed by these graduates to navigate the challenges they encounter in the industry. Additionally, the research aims to assess the effectiveness of the BUSU CICT curriculum in preparing graduates for the demands of the IT industry. The study also examines the factor that con contribute to the success of BUSU CICT graduates in the IT industry to, to gain insights into how other universities and IT programs can improve their curriculum and prepare their graduates for the industry. Overall, the research aims to provide valuable recommendations to, in, to universities and IT programs to improve the quality of their graduates and their preparedness for the IT industry. Methodology, this case study will use qualitative methods to understand the experiences and perspective of both CICT graduates transitioning to the IT industry. The methodology includes interviews and focus groups to navigate, investigate the challenges they face and inform curriculum improvements. The approach can provide a comprehensive understanding of the graduate's experience and identify strategies and factors contributing to their success. Qualitative research methods are appropriate for this case study and can offer in-depth insight into complex social phenomena. The respondents are Rubilin G. Lastimado, who specializes in service management and works as a data record specialist. Albert De La Cruz, as an IT system administrator. Kimberly J. Santos, experienced in agile environments and has worked as a chatbot developer, project manager, and scrum master. Riser Anthony B. Magbanwa, a full stack developer and team leader with nine years of experience. And Joseph Saluta a virtual assistant professional who enjoys traveling and working out. So these are the alumni who have successfully transitioned into IT industry after graduating from Bulacan State University. The respondents had different career goals when they were in college. Ruby Lynn Lastimado wanted to work for an IT company in Makati or BGC, while Albert De La Cruz wanted to work in IT infrastructure. Kimberly Santos Aim for a career in project management and Reiser Anthony Magbanwa wanted to be a programmer. Joseph Saluta initially wanted to work abroad. 
but is now looking for a freelance work that allows him to travel and work remotely. The respondents shared their work experiences with Ruby Linda Stimado, describing her part-time work as an encoder and virtual assistant during the pandemic. Albert de la Cruz emphasized the importance of being a team player, continuously learning and maintaining professionalism. Kimberly Santos shared her career progression, starting as a chatbot developer and transitioning to a project manager and scrum master. Riser Anthony Magbanwa discussed his experience as a full stack or senior full stack developer on trading platform, while Joseph Saluta reflected on his growth in communication skills and professionalism in the BPO industry. The respondents shared their achievements, which includes graduating from Busu CICT for Rubilin, being promoted in service delivery team, and transitioning to a higher role. For Albert, delivering a project from planning to closing. For Kimberly, having certification for Microsoft SQL database and the AWS for Riser, and being promoted to the engagement team for Joseph. The respondents shared their experience in overcoming challenges they faced during their transition into the IT industry. Rubilin G. Leslie Mado adjusted to her new environment, maintained communication with family and friends, and made friends at work. Albert La Cruz engaged in training, sought guidance from seniors, and continuously learned new technologies. Kimberly Joy Santos utilized strategies for improving team performance. Reicher Anthony B. Magbanua emphasized the importance of staying updated with the latest trends in technology. Joseph Saluta overcame challenges by being open to training and continuous learning. The respondents gave various pieces of advice for BSIT students who aspire to achieve their goals. They encouraged students to step out of their comfort zones, pursue their passions, maintain a work-life balance, work hard, be patient, recognize their support system, focus on developing skills, learn from failures, dream big, and not be too hard on themselves. The respondents highlight the importance of continuous learning, perseverance, taking risks, and acknowledge that success is a journey. The SWOT analysis focuses on the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the Bulacan State University CICT program alumni in the IT industry. The strengths include their education and training from the university, successful transition into the IT industry, varied experience, and achievements in their respective careers. However, the alumni may lack experience in certain areas, and keeping up with the rapidly changing industry may pose a challenge. Limited access to networking and job opportunities as other immediate circle of contacts is also a weakness. The opportunities for the alumni include their leveraging their education and experience for further career growth, exploring various industries within the IT field, and establishing connections with other IT professionals and organizations. However, the highly competitive nature of industry, disruptions, and stiff competition from other IT professionals are potential threats. Hi, I'm Ruby Lynn Estimado. I'm alumni of our beloved school, Bulacan State University, particularly in our college. I am now a data record specialist here in Makati. This is my first job after I graduated last July 2022. Sa una, hindi mawawala yung tako to try something new na hindi kayo familiar. But sometimes, yung takot na yun is yung magpupunta sa inyo sa lugar where you actually belong. Um, naalala ko may pastor once said, uh, mas mabuti nang sabihin buti na lang kesa dapat pala. Like, buti na lang nagpasa ako ng resume sa company na yon, buti na lang inatanong ko yung uh, interview. Unlike sabihin mo na 
uh, dapat pala pinatahan ko yung interview, something like that. As early as now, um, I would like to congratulate all of you to Sam's to go and you can wear the best OOTD in your life. So, um, congratulations and God bless. I am Albert de la Cruz. I am an alumni of CICT in Bulacan State University and currently I'm working in Sitco International Philippines, uh, Clark Branch. Uh, currently I'm working as a system administrator in Operations Center. So before I used to be a service desk analyst. And uh, for the CICT students out there, what I can advise you is to absorb all the knowledge na makukuha nyo sa college natin from our professors, from our, from your peers, from your classmates. So, uh, aralin nyo lang ng aralin and make sure na between your studies, uh, meron pa rin kayong life. So, go out there, take a break. Hindi naman kailangan na continuous yung pag-aaral na wala nang pahinga. So, you should always have your breaks. Ipahinga nyo din yung mga utak nyo kapag napapagod na kayo. And at the same time, uh, huwag kayong panghihinaan ng loob if ever na feeling nyo hindi kayo masyadong magaling sa ganito or average students lang kayo. Dahil sa IT naman, madami kayong field na pwedeng puntahan. So, may graphics, may development. Hindi porket hindi ka, hindi ka ganun kagaling sa development is mag-feel ka na in IT industry. No. Masyadong maraming field sa IT na baka para sa'yo. So, huwag kayong panghihinaan ng loob na i-try yung mga bagong bagay kasi ang IT naman is uh, always improving. So, every six months, nag-upgrade ng technologies. So, probably meron pa rin na para sa inyo. At meron talaga. So, since graduate kayo or gagraduate kayo ng BSIT sa CICT sa Bulacan State University, I'm sure na pag nakapagtrabaho na kayo, is magiging successful kayo sa career nyo. Always thank your professors, uh, lahat ng knowledge i-absorb nyo, experience, good or bad, uh, it would help you uh, build your future in IT industry. So, yun lang at maraming salamat. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude uh, for the opportunity to share my life experiences with you all. And I feel honored. Uh, this is the only thing that I can say to all CICP students there. Um, I feel honored to have been a student at uh, Ulsu CICP. And, you know, I'm proud to be an alumnus of such a great institution. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my, you know, inspiration and the person who I, I look up to. Uh, shout out to Mom Jo, Dr. Josephine Benito, who inspired me during my time in college and helped me shape who I am today. So thank you guys, thank you for this opportunity. Bye bye.